I'm going to go kill this parasite. It's the holy grail. That's the problem. That's not the problem, my dear. The problem is the fire hose hasn't been shut down. Your immune system is busy still trying to kill you. So how do we stop that? Now, you got a sensitive stomach. You're always talking about it. You're tired. Mm -hmm. We found something that's causing a lot of your stomach issues. Oh, OK. And it's something that affects about 8% of the population. OK. Which is a parasite. <gasps> OK, wait, 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 wait. OK. All right. So now let's talk infection. And then the whole family freaks out, OK? And they put it on this episode and they're touting it as, oh my God, this is the secret holy grail. This is why Jada has all these problems. It's a parasite. Now, I'm yawning. I'm like, oh, I'm really yawning, actually. <laughs> I'm yawning at this because think about this, okay? Think about this. Jada has autoimmune issues. Yes, she does have a parasite. But to me, the fact that she has a parasite is the end result of all these other autoimmune issues not being calmed down. So if her autoimmune, if her immune system is busy killing her, it's not calmed down, she's not going to fight infection. Of course she's going to have an infection. And here's the problem. They're going to spend the next months, years, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars trying to kill this parasite. How many of you out there are like, I've been killing SIBO for ages. I've been killing Candida for 20 years. I've been, you know, like this is like the typical story I hear all the time. But that's just one of the end results of having an autoimmune and an immune system that's not calmed down. You haven't stopped feeding the autoimmune attack. Instead, you're like, I'm going to go kill this parasite. It's the holy grail. That's the problem. That's not the problem, my dear. The problem is the fire hose hasn't been shut down. Your immune system is busy still trying to kill you. So how do we stop that? I'm going to go ahead and put this right up here. Okay. Why does Jada have a parasite? Number one. Okay, let's take a look. Let's start with food mapping. Well, how do I know she hasn't done food mapping because I created food mapping, okay? So she hasn't done food mapping, number one, to know which foods is triggering the war zone in her gut. So her gut is a war zone because it's fighting all these foods, okay? That's number one. The environment is shitty, okay? So food mapping, get rid of the allergens that you know with a specific method that you know that's accurate, okay? So clean up the environment. Number two, let's go up to blood sugar, okay? Her family's blood sugar is... Uh, it's a, it's a shit show up and down, up and down, up and down. How do I know she has a parasite? You infections don't thrive in an environment where blood sugar is mastered. They really like to thrive in an environment where there's a lot of blood sugar swings of high, low, high, low. So I know by the mere fact that she has the uh, parasite or any, any of you that have an infection is that you do not have blood sugar mastery. So that's why another reason why she has a, an infection. Number three, the other thing is nutrient and vitamin deficiency. We already know she and her entire family have these B12 deficiencies. Her son has these bloating, nausea feeling when they eat. I already told you she already has known autoimmune issues with her hair. So what's the likelihood she has a digestive issue that's causing all these nutrient deficiency? Just low uh, stomach acid alone, that's already 90% of you. So she, of course, has low stomach acid. Think about this. The low stomach acid, which is causing those nu nutrient deficiencies, is used by your body to kill germs. It's your first line of defense. So if 90% of you are low stomach acid, how many of you are going to have gut infections as a result of that, as a result of not addressing digestion? At least 90% of you. So, oh my God, I'm so shocked, right? That she has a parasite. I'm not at all. And people will come in and they think that's the main issue. The whole focus of this on her gut health is, oh my God, she has a parasite. No, that's the wrong focus. The focus is she has an autoimmune disease. She has an autoimmune disease that isn't calmed down yet. And if it's not, and, and with the autoimmune disease, she's got food allergies, blood sugar issues, digestive issues up the shit storm. You got to deal with those. And if you dealt with those, you wouldn't, you may not never even have to treat the parasite. She might not never have gotten the parasite in the first place. It's what's feeding and creating that environment that created the parasite in the first place. That's where the focus should be. And this is why we get, we talk to a lot of you all the time. I got SIBO the sixth time. I got Candida the sixth time. Well, it's going to keep coming back over and over and over again because you're missing the boat just like they are. Um, with the focus on that infection rather than what's causing and feeding the environment that causes these infections to set and thrive. Is that resonating with you guys? Is this making sense? If you're interested in learning more about our program or working with me, uh, we're going to put a link below to start a chat with our team. 
On top of this video, there's also a link to chat with our team. Chat with our team. Tell us what autoimmune struggles you have, what hormonal struggles or gut issues or blood sugar issues you have. And we'd love to hook you up with resources up the wazoo because I've made hundreds and hundreds, I've spent thousands of hours creating content um, to educate you guys, whether or not you work with me. I'm just telling you, this is what it's going to take to turn around your autoimmunity. And I hope that has shed some light and help inspire you um, to really think bigger and to understand how big of an issue this is and what kind of approach exactly is going to get you out of this. So I hope that was helpful, everybody.